to the science lab! Today we will be talking about the circulatory system, also known as the cardiovascular system. So stick with us, we are going to be doing experiments, a craft, and we are also going to be doing a Jeopardy question time. There are several parts to the cardiovascular system or circulatory system, making sure that your blood gets to where it needs to go. One of the main parts is the heart. So our heart is located on our chest, right, the muscles are protecting it, the ribs protect our lungs and it's just nestled right in between our lungs. Your blood gets to every part of your body. Your lungs, where the blood loses carbon dioxide and picks oxygen. It can also go to your bones, the kidney, the liver, the smallest intestine, the large intestine, and your spleen. Hey guys, today we're doing the circulatory system experiment. You will need three bottles of water, water, food coloring, bottle caps, four straws, tape, um, caps, um, and play-doh. Play One will be, uh, have, will have two holes in it, and one will have one hole in it. So first, in the bottles that have water, add three or four drops of food coloring. Now that you already put the food coloring in the bottles with the bottle cap that has no hole, close the bottle and then shake the bottle so all the water mixes with the food coloring. Ready? Now repeat the same step. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put in the first bottle the cap that has only one hole and you're going to close one of the bottles that has the water with one hole. In the middle you're going to put the water bottle that has water as well and with the two holes cap. So you're going to need your bottle right next to the one in the middle, no cap. Then join two bendy straws and secure them with tape and to connect the bottles with the straws. Now that you have connected two bendy straws and you have secured them with the bottle cap, use Play-Doh to make a seal on the cap bottle number one and two, just like Max did. Now Lorraine is gonna demonstrate how to do it. Now, the bottle number one, which is your bottle on the right, Max, is the atrium. The number two is your ventricle, and the empty bottle is your body. The straws are the balls. To, to pump the blood, pinch the ball, and squeeze the ventricle. The blood travels from the chambers to the body, just like a real heart. On our right, we have Lorraine, which is pumping the blood in the body to the right ventricle. On the blue, we have the blood in the lungs. These are the ones that are bringing the oxygen. Okay, we're gonna have a contest to see if we can pump the fastest and who can fill the bottle first. Iron marks, good set, go. Thank you and this has been our competition, which I've obviously won. Thank you for watching. The white blood cells in our body flow through your bloodstream to fight viruses, bacteria, and other foreign invaders that threaten your health. Hey guys, today we're doing the blood shot challenge. Now what this is, is a challenge of we're going to be drinking blood, fake blood we picked up from the grocery store. But, uh, we thought this liquid represented blood because it's red and it has a little white cells. But we're going to have a challenge between me and my sister so you can drink the most. Okay, three, two, one. Circulatory system sensory bottle. You will need water, glitter, baby oil, buttons or beads, a plastic bottle, a plastic bag, an elastic, and red food coloring. So fill half the water bottle with water. Don't forget if you need some help from an adult, just ask. Add some baby oil, three quarters of the bottle. Add 
some of the beads that will represent the white cells and the red cells. Now add some glitter. Place a plastic bag, add it on the top. The table will be a mess. So you close it very well so there is no leakage and you put some tape around it so there is nothing coming out of it. Now shake. It's a sensory bottle that shows the white cells and the red cells along with other nutrients that travel along the um, lot. We are going to simulate how the blood and circulates through our body. Hey, our mom is going to be drinking it and uh, we'll see her reaction. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood back to the heart. The circulatory system carries oxygen, nutrients and hormones to cells and removes waste products like carbon dioxide. These roadways travel in only one direction to keep things going the way they should. Today we're doing, who wants to be a gangster? I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, we're doing Jeopardy on the circulatory system. So I hope you enjoy it, because I don't think I know the answer to any these. Uh, so here is how it's going to be. We have filled our floor with red and white balloons to represent the white and red cells we have in our body. For each correct answer, they will get points. The one with more points will get a chocolate. Chocolate? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Here the medicinal is an European variety of what? Log sucking leech, vampire bat, or blood work plant? Uh, dun, 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 blood work plant. And oh, the leech, the leeches! Blood sucking leeches! Ah, uh, I knew it was leeches. Hey, Lorraine, okay, right. no, 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 no. True or false, Lorraine? Your blood type is inherited from your biological parents. True? That's right. Your blood type is inherited from your biological parents. parents. Brown mucus in your nose can be caused by what? Eating mushrooms, polish your shoes, dust or blood? Dust or <laughs> dust. Dust? Dust from a day of doors or blood swollen sinuses. So how many fluid ounces of blood is poured out of your heart with each heartbeat? Half, two, or seven? Half. No, two fluid ounces no. in every heartbeat. Oxygenated blood leaving the left ventricle flows to which large artery? It's the longest artery in the heart. It was the aorta. The upper chambers of your heart I call the left atrium and the right atrium. Name two of the lower chambers. The lower right atrium and the lower left atrium? Nope. It was the left ventricle and right ventricle. What carries blood away from your heart? Arteries or veins? Veins. Arteries, arteries, ah. Oh. What large but short veins? Bring the deoxygenated blood from the upper half of the body into the right atrium. Uh, uh, vena cava? Yep, the superior vena cava. Good job! How quickly can a scab begin to form after you get cut? Less than 10 seconds, between a minute and an hour, or any time after an hour? Any time after an hour. Actually, it's less than 10 seconds. That is correct. Why my surgeons use blood sucking niches? For fun, they are smaller than vampires to remove blood from the side of the skin or to clean blood from the side of the graft to reduce the blood vessels to, go, to get uh, blocked. Uh, it's pretty much to create a clog. Actually, no, to keep the blood flowing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I got the last one right. 
to clean the blood from the side of yeah. the graph. Lorraine, how many chambers does the heart has? Four. That's correct. For this unit, we used different materials. We made a heart where the blood flows. Then we also had a puzzle. We saw part of the circulatory system on the inside. We used the human body doctor noggins. We also made a chart that shows which part of the body receives blood and how does that helps to each part of the body. We made a sensory bottle. We also use horrible science. I recommend horrible science uh, for kids who are teens and up, given that some of the facts can be a little bit gruesome. As well, the physiology book is more like teens and up. The human body is, I guess, for kids 10 and up. We use head to toe science. We use the lyrical life science. We also used the human body unit study from Gather Round, the human body skills for success. We learned about Charles Drew, the doctor who got the blood pumped up to donate blood, and another puzzle from the heart and the circulatory system.